there's people that have heard about it, so they starve themselves all day. You get big groups of boys that come in and get bets going. They do eat it all. I don't know why, but you know, generally you're filling up on that soup and that salad and then taking a couple bites of meat and you're gonna have great leftovers for at least two days. Most of the ranches out here in Lake County were established in you know early 1900s. This little building was here. Kind of history says it was like a little line shack. We have major ranches that went by here moving cattle. So when they came by here, they would know how much longer they had to go. And there was a juniper tree, so it was called the dinner tree. So when they opened as a restaurant, cowboy dinner tree sounded better. Al and Marcy Prom are the ones who made Cowboy Dinner Tree the Cowboy Dinner Tree. They started doing the big, huge steaks, and for a long time it was just steak with the sides. And I think that that's when people really started coming out because the big, huge steak was such a draw. I've worked here since I was 14. I have customers that come back that have seen me grow up. You know, to me, that's like amazing. And now they bring their kids. I think if it's not broke, don't fix it. In the menu, people plan on that. And if I changed it, they'd be very disappointed in me. <laughs> well, when you make a reservation, you choose between 30 ounce top sirloin steak or a whole roasted chicken. And both come with a salad and then you get a soup. And then generally dessert is a Marion Berry strawberry shortcake with heavy cream. The meat is amazing. It's such a tender top sirloin. We get it custom cut. Currently I'm booked about a month and a half in advance. I get asked if it's really cash only, and I say yes, it's really cash only. About eight years ago, somebody put a dollar bill up on the ceiling, and we thought, well, we'll just leave it there because maybe they want to see it when they come back, who knows? So we didn't disturb it, and before we knew it, they were going up like crazy. And so we're like, well, what are we gonna do with this money? So we've donated it, uh, $10,000 so far, to different charities. People are generous. People love being out here, they love being on an adventure. When people come out here, for some reason it just kind of takes them back into like a calmness and they're always happy to be here.